Our first guest is the most decorated female skier of all time. She's a World Cup's champion, a three-time Olympic medalist, and New York Times best-selling author. Please welcome Lindsay Vaughn. You have a lot of titles. I was like, oh my God. I mean, you have a lot of titles. <laughs> I don't know. I think you might have more than me. I don't know. I was like, oh my God, look at this. That is amazing. <laughs> Congratulations thank on you. all your success, and thank you for being here. Thank you. Okay. So I heard you love the holidays just as much as me. I do. You do? I mean, my family is not as into it as I am. I may be a little over the top, but yeah. it's okay. A compromise. <laughs> the tree went up right after Thanksgiving, like the day after, like immediately in yes. the car, go get it, and it's yes. up. But I had some lights on before Thanksgiving, so. <laughs> is this your tree? That is my tree in my onesie, yep. Uh I love that. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you. We did a good job. My whole family actually uh, helped. I mean, not all of them helped, but they, they tried. So y'all like decorate all together? Yeah, it was a yeah. like, fun tradition. It's, it's like we were kids, but we're older. You're older. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about the holidays? Since it's cheery. It's cheery. And merry and joyful. Yeah. And forget all your problems for like a second. Yes, <laughs> yes. I love that. I love it because I'm the same way. <laughs> Talk about the challenges you faced with depression. Um, I mean, I think a lot of people didn't really understand the concept of, you know, how can you be an Olympic champion mm -hmm. and have depression? Um, I've been talking about it for like 10 years and, you know, Naomi Osaka and Simone Biles are all talking about it now, but back then it was like, well, that's impossible for you to have that, you know, and like, they just didn't understand it. And um, it was hard to be at the top and then you go back to your hotel room and you're completely alone and it's very isolating actually. And um, I struggled with it since I was 18 years old and um, you know, I've found ways to take care of myself. And I think that's also one thing that I found writing the book is you know, different ways of understanding myself, taking care of right. myself. And I really believe that mental health is just as important as physical health. And they all I both have, you you know, they're all tied together. That is so important. So true. Um, talk about like having low self-esteem, because a lot of times I have to say that people do think when you can achieve so much and you're successful that you're not human, and this shows the human inside of someone. So can you, hearing from someone like yourself on these things, I think makes a huge impact and a difference. Well, I thank you, and I mean I, again, I think sharing my story is just part of my process and my journey to be able to understand myself. But mm -hmm. you know, after I won the Olympics. You know, I always looked at my body as, you know, a tool to be able to succeed. And um, when I started to be invited to red carpets and talk shows, yeah. you always make, you make me feel good. Uh -huh. But, you know, <laughs> being on the red carpet with people that are half my size was shocking. Uh -huh. And I felt for the first time that maybe I shouldn't look the way I do. And it really got in my head. And yeah. I, I struggled with that for a long time. But I feel great now. I'm, you I look know. great. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you say that. It's funny you say that. I feel like I could relate to that in some way. Because I used to, you know, being in the industry, I'm a tall girl and I was a heavier girl and I would see people and I used to like, I'm not too big, you too little. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what, you know, I like that's the fire. That's a great way to look Yeah, at. that's what I would yeah. tell myself. Any reactions from your readers? And what do they have to say about your book? You know, I think honestly, people, I can relate to people not for my success on the slopes, but mm -hmm. for my injuries and my depression and all of the things that I've been through. So when I, it's so nice to be able to hear from fans, you know, because they all tell me how they, I inspired them to overcome their injuries or, you know, their adversities in life. And um, I mean, that's really why I wrote the book and that's why I have my foundation. You know, I, I want to share my stories to help others. Tell me about your challenges in dating. What's that about? Um, I mean, I talk a little bit about it in the book, but not very much. I think it's more a journey of myself and mm -hmm. what I need as a, as a person and as a woman. I think being an athlete and being ambitious and hardworking, it was challenging to always find someone that, you know, was kind of on the same level as me and right. actually wanted to encourage me instead of, you know, the opposite. Yes, I understand. Um, so I'm, I'm really happy now. And, uh, and yeah, I kind of, again, I think I, in my book, I really talk more about my journey, not the relationships, because I don't think all the relationships necessarily deserve any more paper. <laughs> she said what she said, baby. <laughs> okay, now we can talk about skiing. Do you still ski a lot? I do. You do? I, I mean, as much as I can, and I've found, like, opera ski is great. What is it? 
opera ski. It's like when you drink and ski. Oh, you gotta tell me all about all of this. I know, right? Is that what you're doing here? Yeah, I was just taking some runs in Deer Valley. It was fun and, um, you know, spend some time in Utah. And I like to ski with my friends. We did my first trip vacation um, in France last year since uh -huh. I was like nine years old. And again, opera ski. You ski down, you stop at the <laughs> hut, you have some warm cocktails. Ooh. And then you ski down. That right? sounds and nice. Then, like perfect. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. How fast do you, how, what's the fastest you've ever gone? Does it go as fast as a car? Or? Like 85. Eight, yeah, that's fast. Wow, cause to me it looked like you're flying. I mean, it, it's fun, yeah. It I, looks I so feel like fun. I can't, yeah, I definitely can't drive my car as fast as I would ski, unfortunately. Oh my goodness, okay, and then this, do y'all see this? All I have is my little thing and I go down my <laughs> hill in Chicago <laughs> with the children. Okay, can you explain the helicopter ski? Yeah, so it's like you take a helicopter to go places that you can't go with the ski lift. Um, and I went to Iceland um, a few months ago, and it was so much fun. That was that video was actually taken at like 1 a.m. in the morning. The sun never sets at that time of year, so it That's was beautiful. pretty amazing. It was a once in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah. And so the helicopter dropped you off. The and then we ski back. down, and then it picks us up at the bottom, and we go to no another peak that no one else has been on, and we ski down. And the helicopter too, because it's so high. Yeah, it's. Those are mountains, like no one's up there. Those are. That is amazing. Yeah. It's fun. Oh my, that it's sounds adventure. a lot yeah. of fun. I don't know if you're really excited and think it's that much fun, but it's fun. I, see, I get cold oh, a lot. You. I got one, do you get cold? Yeah, Or is it like course. adrenaline going That's in why I designed my own ski stuff so that I don't get cold. Oh, I want some of your ski stuff. That's for sure, baby. And then, and then I I'll get the some cold. I hate the cold. You do? I hate the cold, like absolutely hate the cold. Huh? I mean, my, you know, in Minnesota growing up, there's not really like a lot of other sports. Um, like, I wish I would have been good at tennis, but I'm not. So, you know, I, uh, like, I, ha I took what I got, you know. You outdid yourself with it, that's for sure. It's like I skied fast so I could get to the bottom and like put my clothes back on. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Okay, tell us about your foundation. So our foundation um, has programs and scholarships for underprivileged girls. And um, it started because I was influenced by my idol, Peekaboo Street. I met her for 90 seconds at an autograph signing. And ever since then, I wanted to be an Olympian. And so kind of the premise for me is, how can I inspire young girls to follow their dreams? Not in skiing, but in life. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I'm focused on. Um, my sister's the director, it's a family uh, affair, and I really just want to encourage kids to follow their dreams and help support them in that journey. Love it. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel and turn on that notification bell so you're the first to see our latest videos.